All right, everybody, welcome to Trades Tutor. We got another question for you today. This is finding the volume of a hot water tank. So, a hot water tank has a diameter of 3 feet 3 inches and a height of 6 feet 4 inches. Calculate the volume of water in the tank in cubic feet if the tank is 80% full. So what we want to do is start with a formula. That's a good place to start with anything. What variables do we need in this thing? There it is. Volume is equal to pi r squared times height. Now, this portion of the event is basically the formula for area, if you recognize that, and it'd be the area of the top of the tank or the bottom of the tank. And then you go and take that and multiply it by height. Now, if at this point you're thinking, well, wait a minute, there's another formula for area that I could possibly use, you're right. We could throw it in this formula. Volume equals d squared times 0.7854 times height, where the d squared times 0.7854, that's also the formula for area of a circle. So either one. And I'm going to do another video. I'll show doing area of a circle using both methods. Okay? But for now, we're going to stay with this. And the idea is a couple things. One is we have to have the variables in the same units. So for instance, if the height is in inches, the radius has to be in inches. If the height is in feet, the radius has to be in feet. And the other thing is we have to work in a form or we have to have the units in a form we can work with. So 3 feet 3 inches isn't going to work for us. We have to change it either to inches or feet. And we're going to change it to feet because we're calculating this all in cubic feet. So that's going to go to 3.25 feet. If you want to know of uh, another video changing fractions to in fractions to decimals, I have another video for that. I'll, maybe I'll link it down below. And then 6 feet 4 inches goes to 6.33 feet. All right? So you got those two. Now we're getting there. Now the other thing is we have the diameter is 3.25 feet. We've got to change that to the radius. So the radius is equal to the diameter divided by 2. 3.25 divided by 2 is 1.625 feet. So now we have all the variables we need, and we just got to plug them in. Volume equals pi times 1.625 squared times 6.33. And we get 52.49 cubic feet. Now, one more thing here. The tank, as it says in the question, is 80% full. So we got to take that number and multiply it by 0.8, and in the end of the day, we get 41.99 cubic feet. I hope this helped. Thanks for watching, and good luck with your studies.